at a sale on Etsy. Let's go picking the order up here in the Emporium. It's in this closet. Oh, let me get the light on. And let's see. Oh, it's kind of buried. It is in this box right here. I got to get all of this off of here and then I'll show you what's sold. Hi, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a sold video. What did I sell? I tell you on which platform. I sell on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark, so I tell you which platform I sold it on. Uh, we go picking in my Emporium where I show you where I pull it out of my inventory, and then I tell you how much I paid for it and what it sold for. Had a sale on Etsy. Let's go picking the order up here in the Emporium. It's in this closet. Oh, let me get the light on. And let's see. Oh, it's kind of buried. It is in this box right here. I got to get all of this off of here and then I'll show you what's sold. This was such a unique find that I got at a local flea market. It is a vintage cookie press and I believe this one is to do icing. It's got all the different tips to do like the decorating on cakes and then this has all of those little discs over there to do all the fancy uh, styles of cookies. I paid five dollars for this box but there was another item inside this box. It was uh, copper um, cookie cutters in the shapes of hearts. They had their own container. So I'm going to say that only four dollars of that cost is going toward this item and a dollar toward the other item. I sold this on Etsy for sixty dollars. However, I was running a 15 percent off sale, which means the person got a nine dollar discount so they're paying $51 plus shipping. Let me give you a close-up of the little pamphlet that's in here. You can see some of the little decorations that you can do using the, the various items from the cookie press. Let's go picking up in the Emporium. I have a sale on Poshmark and it's way up there in, I think it's that box, but one of those two boxes. Let me get it out and I'll show you what it is. This is a beautiful loose knit yellow sweater made by Element. It's new with tags. You can see the price there. It was $59.50. Somebody bought it for $39. I got this at, I believe, a Plato's Closet, and um, I paid like $2 for it because it was like, you know, one of their super sales that they were having. They were having a hard time selling it. Well, it's been in my Poshmark closet for years. Beautiful. New with tags. <laughs> I can't believe nobody wanted it. Somebody made me a lowball offer of $9, and I took it. I'm like, I need to move on some of this old inventory. This would have been up on deck for the next purge of my old inventory that I would be, you know, donating somewhere. So I'm just glad that I was actually able to sell it, get my money back, and make a little bit of profit. Back up in the Emporium, and I have a sale on Poshmark. It is most likely in the green box down there that I have a lot of my clothes already folded up. And in plastic bags there is a slim chance that it is hanging here so I'm gonna look through and if it's here I'll pull it out right away if not I got to pull that box out far enough for me to get into it and dig out my item and then I'll show you what it is I found what I was looking for in my green bin that's in my closet it was this Tommy Hilfiger it's a really nice like floral top. I don't want to completely unwrap it for you guys. I sold it on Poshmark. I got this um, at the bins. I paid 43 cents for it and I sold it on Poshmark for $15 plus shipping. It's time to go picking for another sale in the Emporium here. 
it is right up front. It happens to be this vest. Isn't this vest gorgeous? It's a Pendleton. I got a lot of questions on this vest. I gave additional details. The person kept sending me messages. She was unsure about buying it. And in the meantime, while she was thinking about it, somebody else came in and sent me an offer. It happened to be a lowball offer. So I counter offered, but that person didn't take that. However, on Poshmark, when there's offers being sent or counter offers being sent, they will send out email notifications, notifications to everyone who liked that particular item to let them know, hey, this is your last chance to buy it. Somebody else is, you know, sending offers. And uh, so the first person who asked a lot of questions about it hurried up and bought the item for full price. I paid $2 for this vest and I sold it on Poshmark for $35 plus shipping. Remember, Pendleton is a Bolo brand. Always pick up the Pendletons when you see them. Sometimes it takes a little bit to sell them. If it's a blanket, though, they sell really fast and for good money. Seems like I'm selling a lot of items out of this closet, although it does hold the most. I sold this jacket. Let's get it out, and I'll tell you all about it. This jacket is a London Fog. It's a Petite XL. I bought it at a garage sale for $3 and I sold it on eBay for $16 plus shipping. People will tell you to stay away from these, but I don't know why. This is a beautiful color and it sold fairly quickly. I, I will always buy this brand in good condition. They don't sell for a lot. Yes, some jackets you can buy, you, you buy them for like $5 and sell them for 60 or something like that. And people look for those, but those are few and far between. You'll find this brand more often than you will some of the other ones. At a sale on eBay, let's go pick the order. I don't have to get too far into this closet. I happen to know it's in here. And it's that right there. Let's get it out and I'll tell you all the details. Okay, so now let's look at this teacup and saucer. Initially you would think, oh, that's pretty. That's kind of nice. It's a you know little bigger for a saucer and it's definitely modern. This is not a, a vintage piece. It might be vintage in that it was made in the last 20 years or so, but it's not like a vintage teacup that you would normally, you know, look up. I picked this up because I thought, well, that's unique. What is this? This turned out to be a full-size placement. And then look at the people on here. If you see this style of people on anything, I would recommend picking it up. Now, I couldn't see this when I picked it up, but it says Quimper right there when I was able to get all the tape off of everything I was able to unfold this and actually see this that's another word to be on the lookout for and on the back here it says Francois Lavillic Decor Fetus Der Corn Corn Vale Corn of Vale I'm not sure I'm probably butchering that hopefully you guys can see that made in France uh, porcelain France de Limoges that would be the key word right there. I was like, this is Limoges? I'm like, in the cart it went. I paid $4.99 for this at a Salvation Army. And I had it listed up pretty high in my eBay store. I mean, I think I started it out at like 65. I was just like, I didn't know what to price it at. So I put it high. And then I dropped it down to... Uh, 55 and last night I got an offer for $49 and I was like that's a pretty good deal <laughs> so I took it so I paid $4.99 for it and I sold it for $49 plus shipping 
had another sale on eBay. It's over here in the closet and it's in that drawer down there. Let me get it out. Here's what's sold. It is a Starbucks mug. This one is, it's vintage, but it's pretty popular. I got this at a garage sale. This is the D Burroughs Nighthawks Diner Scene, and you will actually see this used a lot. It doesn't always say Starbucks on it, but you'll see this particular scene in other things. Starbucks, I guess, did a collaboration uh, using this artist's work, and they put out these coffee mugs. I paid 25 cents at a garage sale and I sold it for $12.99 free shipping. Whenever I have free shipping on one of my solds, I always like to tell you what the shipping was. This person lives in Oklahoma, so I'm shipping from Michigan to Oklahoma, and the shipping was $7.76 in this priority box. These are perfect for mugs. I just love them. And this is kind of ironic. This sale and the one before it, the Quimper uh, teacup and saucer, I had my eBay store or eBay shop on time away. And that means I'm kind of on vacation, but I just happen to still be home. So I'm hurrying up to package these up and actually drop them off at the post office if it's open, because it's actually Christmas Eve. If not, I'll be mailing these all out on Monday. And when you put it on time away, you put on the extra days in order to um, get the shipping out because you're obviously not home to ship things out. People are notified that you are on vacation and that there's gonna be delayed shipping on anything that they get. And then what happens is if they complain, about the delayed shipping because they didn't read the email or didn't see the notification on my shop and they leave negative feedback, eBay will actually remove that negative feedback. You have to let eBay know that that's why they you know, left the negative feedback and they automatically remove it for you. Green Bee Explorer had a sale on eBay. Let's go to her cupboard. I always help her with her sales. Oh, the door's shutting on me. It is down here. And it's this item right here. Let me get it over to where I can show you more about it. Look at this beautiful copper mold. Green Bee's going to help me today. She's actually here. She got this at the bins and she paid 66 cents for it and she sold it on eBay for $15 plus shipping. Let's go pick a sale out of the closet over here. I sold this on eBay and I'm going to tell you why it's in the box. Let's open this up and see what's in the box. Ooh, look at that. It is just so pretty. Look at the pattern on that. This is a Vera Bradley. It's considered a hard case, but it's got the quilting on it. It's a laptop carrier. It's got the, like the long strap. On the inside is this padded uh, like bag that you can put your tablet or laptop in. Then it has this bar here that you put and like if you turn this sideways, let's see if I can do this one-handed. If you turn this up and sideways, you can actually use this to like hold up a tablet or you can do it each, any which way you want. You can put this at any height or length. You can kind of hold things in place, hold things in place with this bar. It's just so awesome. And then it does have like extra pockets on the outside. This was just so beautiful. I bought this at a flea market and I paid up for it. I paid $20 for it and I sold it on eBay for $45. I so debated about like keeping this for myself 
And on top of that, I didn't list it right away because I was like, wow, this is really big. I would need a certain style box to, you know, ship it in. And back when I was like starting to get more into eBay and the shipping and it wasn't cloth clothing, I didn't have the boxes, but I found this box and I was like, wow, that fits perfectly in this box. So this actually has been in this box since <laughs> I found the box and now I'm able to ship it out. I got this fancy electric kettle from my daughter, who's also a Green Bee Explorer. And check this out. It lights up. How awesome is that? Green Bee, shut the light off. The other light. There you go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, put the lights back on. And back here, I got some Wawa coffee from Pennsylvania. That's where I went while I was on vacation. Thank you for watching. Put any comments or questions down below. I love reading your comments. Please subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys later.